Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Back for the booze. So, is there, how is the, um, how's the D&D stuff been going? Take uh, inspiration from uh, Oz's office from Beacon, the movie. I honestly don't remember what that looked like, so probably not. Oh, by the way, uh, remember the Tabitha character that you that you liked? Turns out that just talking to her and giving her gifts every day is not actually the way to make her like you. Ah, so it's different than the original Yeah, I mean, it helps, but for Tabitha specifically, you have to get monsters. Oh. Oh my. Thank you very much. Oh shoot, I gave her both of the apples? Well, that's no good. Yeah. Secret, secret attack. Stop giving away all your apples. Super secret attack. I rewound time to before I gave her the two apples, so I could give her just one of them instead. Okay, I guess I can put that away. But yeah, you have to have tamed at least 50 monsters to get Tabitha to marry you. Let's see. So, you know, just some. It's time to tame some monsters. Yeah, we already have one who should be able to do all of the watering. Should be able to. Go out, you're not there anymore, so now if we go back to the farm. Oh, no. Does it have to be 50 different monsters? I don't think so. Nothing had said that they have to be different ones. Sure, could. That'd be boring to do that. Have <laughs> you? Okay, okay. So I know that I had a thing open here. Oh, no. Apparently I closed it. Uh... Wait, maybe it's on here. Run Factory 1 Monster Items. No, 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 no. Okay. In that case, let's just go back over here. Wait a second. No, no, because I was already down there. I already bought the place when I went about the beat. I do need to learn where to get the collection basket, though. That is probably going to be useful. Yeah, you can't move monsters from one barn to another, unfortunately. Okay. 
So if you say, you know, catch a monster, it goes into barn one, but it's like, well, that one doesn't give me any drops, so I want to move it to like barn seven. Nope, not allowed. It has to stay in barn one. Is go and capture three more uh, wasp enemies and then go and capture a bunch of uh, sheep because sheep drops are the most uh, monetarily useful you need to get the shears for those though and I don't know where to get the shears Factory 1, way back in the day when they tried to make uh, Rune Factory games act like. They made Rune Factory act like a Harvest Moon game. shopping so I don't have to go back outside anytime soon. Fair. And I got the uh the rest of the magic cards I had ordered like forever ago. Which was most of the battle cards, which oh my gosh, those are so tiny. It's like normal magic card size, but it's like sideways. Like the art is on the left side of the card and the text is on the right. But I never actually seen one of the battles for real before. I only ever see them on Arena when they are artificially made larger. You know, so you can see and read them better. I understand. So, yes. Most people think I'm crazy, like, oh, of course the cards can't be bigger, they have to be the exact same size, but it's like, Arena doesn't make them the exact same size. It's like, have you ever, like, seen, like, your old cell phone that you used to use, like, ten years ago, and it looks like a child's toy? Yeah, yeah it's like that. Something with your Pokemon, right? That's why I had to move. Yeah, there, there's a meeting going on in the park, in the arcade and lot. There's like, yeah, every vehicle 
people must be uh, out of law by 8.15 a.m. It's like, it's 3 a.m. My choice is either get up yep. in like, yeah, five hours, or just do it now. So, uh, fun fact, Azura. Uh, they're yeah. doing parking lot cleanup at my place today, too. I guess May 3rd is a popular day for parking lot cleanup. Also, speaking of the date, uh, the day that this episode goes up it is going to be the one year anniversary of my surgery. Sweet. Yeah, and considering that my surgery was at like what, bloody five in the morning, two time zones away, so effectively three in the morning this time. That's actually not that far off. <laughs> so this episode is going to be the closest one that will uh, go up, you know, on the exact anniversary. The other episode going up tomorrow is, uh, is one of my Hitman videos. Nothing good about that one, but with two episodes a day, you have two chances to go for the anniversary. Special days inside. Still wish I had that running joke of playing uh, scary games on uh, April Fools. I think that'd be really funny. Oh, because uh, I go to play, like, say, Slender or FNAF or whatever, but I actually just sit on the main menu talking about the game and other things for the entire one hour episode and never actually play the game. That's a good way to lose all your subscribers. It's an April Fool's thing. Also, yes, I heard what you said. I think Chandra would like the joke. Other people get in on the April Fool's joke. I could have done so too. I should learn how to do like the intro to the big roll. Like how to like just play it just so I can pretend to call it up from time to time. You said. Right. Everything is fine, everything is fine. Although realistically, the uh, looking at seeing that thinking about the actual lyrics of the song, it's just like it's uh doesn't suit you very well. What do you mean it doesn't suit me very well? Cause I give up so much? Well the first line of the song is uh, uh no strangers to the so do I. Like, no, you don't. Hey, just because I'm potentially ace. Like, there are no strangers to love? I mean, come on. But yeah, we saw the Mario Bros. movie together. Yeah, that was, uh... It was a nice movie. No wonder it has over 
No wonder it's made up over one billion dollars already. Jesus. It is very close to becoming one of the top 10 most profitable anime movies of all time. And that's not that Sell the movie, sell the movie. Well, I think one of the more interesting things is the thoughts of what things are probably not going to be movies. Because generally, I would say that the thought would be is anything that, make, that actually did make a, uh, a cameo appearance in the movie is probably not going to have its own movie. Yeah. Like, it would be neat to have a Donkey Kong movie, but... Well, okay, don't... Like, I, I could... I actually, I, I take that back. I think Donkey Kong... There's, there's room for a Donkey Kong movie, but I, I don't think we'll do one. However... We don't want to spoil too much stuff of the Mario movie for those who haven't seen it yet, but... Yeah, I do like the idea of... The Smash Bros. initiative, like Marvel, but with uh, Smash Bros. characters. We already have uh, Mario, Pikachu, and Sonic, oh my. Go back to that Detective Pikachu movie and see more stuff in that world. Like another movie or like a TV show set specifically in that. Like in a place where Pokemon, you know, don't get put in Pokeballs, it makes sense why people would just have one unevolved Pokemon. And that's it. Well, I mean, that's the thing. People do put Pokemon and Pokeballs in that universe. I'm um, sp no, specifically in that town. In the town that the bulk of the movie takes place in, it's against the law to put Pokemon and Pokeballs. It, it is? I, I don't remember that town, though. Yeah. That's why everybody in town just walks around with the Pokemon. Like, Pokemon battling is also illegal. That's why they had to do the uh, underground fighting. to battle. Exactly. Yes, even children who just dress up like Pokemons. Unfortunately, I don't actually have anything prepared for it tomorrow, no special plans or nothing. 
I want to do something nice, but... I mean, I'll, in addition to your, you know, anniversary thing, I mean, it, it is also Star Wars thing. Yeah, I still remember being on the phone with the person scheduling the, uh, surgery, and she's just like, Oh, how does May the 4th sound? I'm just like, uh, I... Yeah, I'll take it! without me. I know I had like a page open that said like where to find all <coughs> all the different like monster items. But as far as I remember, it's just go to all of the shops while they are open and just talk to everybody in the shops, and hopefully they'll give you the stuff. Oh, hey, it's raining. No, in game. Which means my watering monster can't uh, show off how useful it may or may not be. Also, buying it slash making all seven of these monster farms has really put me back on the lumber by a lot. So I only need. Oh, about. Let's see, what? I need 2,000, so I need. 1080, so I need 108 more stumps. One stump is how you're gonna manage that. Yeah, I'm hoping to get all this done by the end of summer, but that's probably not going to happen. At the end of summer, I mean, then you've got a few more months. Oh, ha ha. Although it turns out that the uh, that the dungeon that you can only enter in winter is not actually um, the third dungeon. It's like the fifth. Oh. So I don't think that I'm possibly going to get um, enough overall like strength and levels and stuff to be able to go through and clear the dungeon by the end of this yeah year one winter. So I might have to delay that for year two. Okay, so I want to get two more bee monsters as pets, so I can go and try to do that right now. But first, let's water all of these cucumber seeds. Five was really the first, uh, well, potentially the first Moon Factory game 
We can have monsters watering essentially all of your online. It's weird, because normally in factory games they can water your main farm, but not any of you know your seasonal farms. In fact, we five got rid of seasonal farms, but still, monsters can water all of your secondary farms, but not your primary. Because <coughs> you can have monsters, um, monster huts on the element dragons. Uh, but not actually for your main farms. That's neat. Ah. Definitely extra farmland to keep it down, but we're not going for that right now. We're just cleaning out what we need to do. Some point I really gotta reorganize this, but for now this is fine. So the first monster height should be full. So that's that, just a hundred and two more logs. Hey, miss, what it? It's Tuesday, and it's raining. <laughs> it's 
So now, time to just get a whole bunch of sheepy sheeps. And hope that that's going to be enough. It's not first to me. My brain's going back into the Mario Bros. movie thing. You know what we need? We need a Luigi spin off. Luigi's Haunted Mansion? Yeah, Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, I'm sure that's on purpose. Oh, that it absolutely is. Gosh, I can't wait till I upgrade the house and get a fuller so I can just get a better watering can. And water more than just one space at a time. It is kind of funny that farmland is farmland. Whether the, no matter if you actually farm on it or not, you're going to get resources on farmland. Because, you know, if you don't plant crops and stuff, then uh, stuff just grows here. Like, you know, branches and logs. Bread doesn't go on empty farmland. S stumps do, though. You just get random tree stumps growing. And how do you get tree stumps? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you ask it a difficult riddle. Well, that's how you stump a tree. Which sounds like a Pokemon. Stump a tree. Wait, wait, that's not a Pokemon? That's my favorite Pokemon. And no. here's where the sheepies are. Now, it, it sounds like it should be wrong. And you're, it probably makes you think of like two or three specific ones. Okay, I need like four names for sheepy sheeps. For sheepy sheeps? I could just name them like sheep one or sheep two. Name them all various Sean's. No, no, like we can name them after different, you know, sheep from media. What other sheep do you know? There's only five digits. Oh. Wait, when you say digits, you mean characters? Yeah. Wow. That sucks. Okay. 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 
got it. Four sheep. There, there. No. <laughs> So now we have the sheep pen fill. Might as well keep that with me, I guess. Everyone's favorite kind of pen. Hello. The sheep pen. Oh, good. The brush. Hello. Hello. Oh, but I have to actually pay for the bath. Hello, I'd like to take a bath. Thanks. What? Phew. Yeah, it's interesting how Moon Factory 1, if you stay up past 1 a.m., you actually do get sick for the next day, and it makes things really annoying. Moon Factory 4 and 5, as long as you get to bed by 5.59, no. you're fine. Alright, where is Camus? Well, that's not good. No, it's not. Come on in. I like to talk. Alright. Back to one. Basket. I have to go up here and talk to Newman and hopefully he Hello. just gives it to me. <laughs> nope, apparently he'll only do that on, uh, on days where it's not raining. Now that it's raining, the store is effectively closed. I guess I can go run around here a little bit. Come on in. Thanks Show for me your wares. Like always. Right, let's sell stuff first. That's four days of the food for all of you. So I need to throw some food into the second place.
not to mention also throws it this way. some rocks in here. Right, everything is fine. Heck, we can even save if we want to. Because everything is just so fine. collection basket but maybe we can get that tomorrow but for now let's go for actually just time pass in here it's 15 time passes while we're in here, that's cool. Be an army of sheeps. Brushy, brushy. Brushy, brushy. And you too, of course. Could sell this wool for uh, this fur for two hundred each. Mm. Or we could turn it into this to sell for four hundred and eighty each. So, between these four woolies, we can, I mean, I was going to say almost 2,000 a day, but it's not really a day, it's like every four days, so. That's still some solid profit, though. Do we go and get more woolies? Actually, that's a good question. Does Tabitha like us more? Oh yeah, we got two love points from Tabitha because now we have eight monsters. So that's neat. And well, now we have this sack of... Now I have the energy for it, so let's just go and keep fighting apples. It's only 5 p.m. That's about seven, last seven and a half fish hours. Surely that's enough to uh, fight a whole bunch of apples. I could bring this out as a cute boy when I have a dungeon that would be the main. I don't wonder if different monsters will just give us more experience, because these give us basically nothing. But they can also basically not even hurt us, so. The woolies have an easy to access you know, area where we could avoid getting hit by them. That's so we can just farm off of them.
Okay, what else is there new and exciting going on? Ultimately, not much. are going to be like a regular thing in upcoming magic sets. Like planeswalkers, like I could totally see like two or three battles coming out per set. If that's the case, a an all battles deck could eventually just be viable. The all planeswalker deck is already pretty nice if I don't get completely mana screwed, like what sometimes happens. But unfortunately for an all battles deck, I have to take a bit of, uh, a bit of leniency with the commander. There's a five color battle I can use, so not all bad. are generally too short. Like, Rune Factory 5 played through casually, beat it within like the first season. Not enough, you know, time to really grow plants or do any of the, uh, you know, Rune part of Rune Factory. It's all just charging through and beating monsters and stuff, and then boom, game is done. There's a heck of a lot of stuff to do post-game, but still, and even beating the tower is rather anti-climatic. I mean, it's nice that every time you, you know, beat the end boss in the tower, you get, um, some items, but... really helps for finishing up the shipping list. Right. Okay, so I got seven monster barns. So when all of the grass grows, and that's... Oh, I think I got four grass seeds, so... 90 to 27, 36. So that'd be 36 grass for each place. So if grass does regrow, then that grass by itself, by itself 
should be enough for all of my monsters that I will eventually have. At least, you know, until I start getting to basement levels. If grass doesn't regrow, that means I'll have to buy four grass seeds every nine days. To just keep replanting the grass every so often. Oh no, health is starting to run low. Well, it's already midnight. So, let's just defeat this one last one, and I'll put back up. We finished up. We got to level 42, and we got almost half a level's worth, so that's actually not that bad. We were locking up to 27 only. like so close so close to logging 28 just want to get there End of the day, end of an episode, I guess next time we're going to see potentially if the uh, water creature can actually water. So that'll be fun to find out. So, also I think next episode we might be able to have, start harvesting cucumbers. So that'll be cool. I'm looking forward to it. 